here. Uh, you'll notice I put in a, a celery. We cut off. Just try it and see. People say it'll grow. Um, I'll believe it when I see it, uh, but I won't discount it till I see it won't grow either. Got a lot of stuff coming up now. The other day I did a video. We had no radishes in, um, in two days. We've got to stand over an inch tall, closer to an inch and a half. Lettuce is still doing good right here. Not coming in only like I'd like it to, but uh, it's not coming from seed. That came out of a, a recent seeding uh, bed, but we'll, we'll keep watching and see what it does. At some point, we will actually transplant that on into the main bed. Our cilantro that came from the same means doing about the same, not as good as we'd like, but it is going. Uh, but everything else we look at out here is just doing great, and uh, hopefully I'll get a chance tonight when I, before I post this video. I can show, I'll put a, a thing up that shows what everything actually is, which I called it out in a recent video. I just hadn't put the stakes out here to show what's what. Um, if you look right here, these leeks, just show you the size of these things. They are getting huge. Now they're by no means ready to cut off right now. We'd probably kill it if we tried to cut them off and, and eat the greens now. But you'll notice the onions doing really well too. Now put in a couple more onions. Here's one right here that I just put in yesterday. It's already trying to pop up. So uh, we'll keep our eye on that, see how that does. Our kale, I know right here is kale coming around through here. And then we've got a couple more onions in here. Um, got a garlic right here coming up. I only put a few cloves out here, uh, and that's one of them. Uh, and then, of course, that uh, Italian lettuce mix right there in that area under my, where my hand just was. All that area, that's all that Italian lettuce mix, which has stuff like Swiss chard and spinach and, and you name it. And I think uh, all this right here is actually spinach. I'd have to look on my chart and see. But it's all it's all copied. That way I know what everything is this time around. No guessing. Um, and that's about it in here. Uh, like I said, I'll get some names sewn up on the screen in the captions to show what's what. Um, looking around, I've got some brand new tomato blooms up here on the trellis. I'm going to go ahead and leave these, see what, what happens with them. Um, still, plants are still very leggy. Uh, but uh, it's just one of those things. Now, one thing we've got coming on uh, this Thursday, this, today is Monday, uh, in just a few days we've got uh, 100 catfish coming, channel cat, of, of our local variety here in Texas. And uh, they are not as small as I wanted. I wanted some uh, four to six inch fish and we're gonna end up with six to eight inch. That's all they have in stock. Um, and they are, they're telling us they're guaranteeing to be disease free and, and uh, also organic. Uh, all the food they've been given all their life has been organic. So. Hopefully we're getting in some good fish. We'll get those in our fish tank uh, Thursday evening and uh, start producing a lot more uh, fish food for our system, which I've noticed recently when I do my test, my nitrate levels are starting to drop off a little bit. My ammonia level's still good, nitrate level's still good, but my, my nitrate's starting to drop off. So that's telling me I got more plants, or the plants have gotten big enough, they're eating more than what we're producing. Uh, it was just our few perch that are in here, so we'll be going with that. Anyway, looking out here, Rodina lettuce is doing just excellent. Our romaine lettuce is doing excellent. Like I said, we got this one big one out here that's... I wish I could go ahead and start harvesting off of it, but uh, just can't do it. Got to let it grow on up. Going around here looking at this. Just to show the growth. You guys can go back and look at the other videos. The growth is just fantastic. All these plants are doing marvelous. One thing I did find I didn't expect is right here. Actually trying to produce corn cob. I didn't even expect the plant to do that, uh, but I, I, what I really expect to have happen is, is pretty much like no corn kernels in there. It's just just not enough nutrient in the system for it. Our spaghetti squash, doing, I guess it's doing great, doing good enough for me. I'm very happy with it. There's now five of them on this plant, although this one right here looking a little shrivelly, it may not make it. That's all right. That's one of those things. You're going to lose some of your fruits, and uh, you got to be ready for that and just move on. We got enough uh, other stuff growing and producing. Cucumbers up here in the trellis. Another one right there. Let's see, I know there's some more out here. Oh, look here, you see these little, if you can make this out, these little black dots? That tells me somewhere up above here, I've got a worm. And there he is right there. Let's see if I can get a good view on him. See that worm right here? They're very hard to see. He just became fish bait. Drop him right off in that tank. Yeah, the perch are hitting them. I've got those perch just in the uh, sump tank or pump tank. Uh, just for now, they're, the, the larger ones are about to be moved into the bigger tank uh, along with the catfish that are coming in Thursday. 
So that'll happen. Uh, but yeah, they, they went right after that worm immediately. That worm is toast. So I'm going to look around here and make sure I don't see any more worm droppings. And I'll show you that again. That's what the worm droppings look like. They're just little black dots that are laying on your leaves. And you can find that. And of course, you can brush them off of them and get in the system. Worst case scenario, they've eaten a little bit of the leaf. But uh, they hadn't eaten too much before we caught it. Let's see if I can show you the leaf he was eating on. It was this one right here, and you can see how the leaf is deformed and got pieces missing out of it. But uh, yeah, just knock this poo down in the fish bed or in the uh, grow bed. Let it go ahead and become part of the system. That'll fertilize the plants too. So we fed our fish with the worm. We used his poo to fertilize the system, and uh, in turn, the fish will, will fertilize with the poo from the worm. So we're all happy. Anyway, just kind of looking around here, seeing if I see anything else of big interest at the moment. Really don't. Things are still growing, doing much better, it seems like. We just cut a tree down yesterday that gave us a whole lot more sun in this greenhouse for this part of the year. Unfortunately, it hadn't been sunny here for a couple days, so uh, we're not seeing any market uh, change in our, our growth due to more sun, but I assume within the next week we really will. Anyway, that's it for this. I'll get this thing uploaded for you guys, and uh, I hope everybody else is doing really well, too.